This is the Lindhurst and it's the A5 model. And it's immaculate. Look at that. I like that. Now I don't use the A5. Uh, I don't. I've got a few A5s, but I don't use the A5. So this is still in its box, and it's. Um, it smells like a posh leather sofa. Lovely. Okay. So let's have a look at it. Oh, one thing I do. Let, let me show you before I open it. Okay. This this full length pocket here. Uh, oh, let me. Let me just get my phone here. So, this is a fantastic thing for phones, as I uh, as I found with my A4 version. I I do use an A4. I do, excuse me, I do use an A4 Lindhurst, and this pocket is fantastic for phones. So, it's one of the things I do like about it. But I don't use this A5 version. But let's have a look at it. Um, First of all, I love these boxes. Um, I think that modern one, the, the latest ones, don't have this box, which is a shame because I think the box is really, really handy. You can see that there's some discoloration to this box, possibly because it's been uh, in the light. And it's just nice to have. I mean, these, these are lined with... Uh, in this case, some sort of uh, plastic material, almost like very, very thin bubble wrap. But it's a really, really handy way of protecting your purchase. Just like you'd have with uh, folio books, they have a nice box like this. So, um, okay, I just, I just think it's a shame that they don't have a box like this because, well, there we go, that's my opinion. I'll stick to it. So, professional, professional style. Of, oh, by the way, I'm not quite sure when this was made, so you'll have to do your own research. I forgot. I forgot to find out. Um, designs to organise, and let's see what it says. Um, professional. Oh, let's let's just change that a sec. All right, that's better, isn't it? Okay, professional style and versatility, soft leather, which is true, it is very, very soft. Zip around security, which I really, really like with the A4, which I have used in anger for oh, 13, 14 years, possibly. Um, it, it was... Up until recently, I used the my A4 Lindhurst every day, but uh, um, I'm not using it now because I'm sort of semi-retired, so so I really don't. But I still do use it occasionally. But I I, I think these are one of the best of the the the, the foreign-made file effects. It's really like them, um, <clears throat> so I'm a little bit biased. Um, zip round security external pocket. Um, now this is internal card diskette note and notebook pockets pen loops. This thing about a diskette is very very interesting, and it's a sign of the times, isn't it? Let's have a look at this. Whoops! Let's open it fully. Okay, so this pocket here. This pocket here. You've got the you've got these slots here, but this pocket here is designed for a floppy disk. Now I can't remember the last time I used a floppy disk, but um, there we go. This is specifically this pocket is designed for a floppy disk. So fantastic. I don't have a floppy disk anymore, but if I did, I would have tried it. But if it says it's for a, for a diskette. I'll, 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 I'll take that. So, what else has it got? Um, uh, pen loops. Pen loops. Plural. So, let's have a look at this. And 
in this particular case, if uh, if I show you this, look, it's still got it's still got the the padding. Can you see that? I'll just pop it out. Still got the padding inside the loop, and again on this side. Apologies for the for the bad weather. There we go. So this has not been used in anger at all. It's a fresh, as near as new Firefax as you could come across. It's immaculate. Uh, doesn't have the diary, but it has all the papers other than the diary. So the diary's been removed. Uh, I wasn't the first person to own this. I'm presumably the second owner. Um, but I strongly suspect, because the diary is not there, that uh, when they sold this, what they did is they had some entries in their diary that were obviously private, and so they just removed the diary, put it in the box, and sold it to me. But I don't think this has been used at all. Um, so what have we got? Well, we've still got the... Uh, Let's just change that again. There we go. We've still got the uh, the, the paper ring protector and it's done a, a reasonable job, but there are some marks there, despite the fact it's in its box. Okay, so what, have, what do you get? What did you get in a file of facts at the time? Uh, if we have a look at... The best thing, I think, is to... I so strongly suspect that the ruler is contemporary with the binder. So let's have a look at the date on that. Okay, 2007. I think that's probably right because I recall that around about 2006, seven, I bought my A4 Lindhurst. So I think that's probably right. So let's, let's just go with that. So what would you have got in your, in your, uh, oh, let's have a look at this. What have we got in here? Okay, the, the standard booklet, the Finchley collection, the Finsbury collection, the graphic collection. Wow, fantastic. Lost and found. Now, this is interesting because you cannot do this anymore. Right. Register. Lost and found. Register your organiser at filofacts.com. Well, they stopped doing that uh, because of the regulations pertaining to data storage, I think. I'm not quite sure what they're called, but you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so they stopped doing that. But to be honest, that, doesn't, that only applies to digital records. They could have had them in a filing cabinet, probably. That's my... Uh, or used, a, used some filing faxes, like Grace Skirr did all those years ago. Anyway... World and time. Um, then we've got this. Uh, oh, let me just change that. Uh, registration, protecting yourself from losing it. Uh, there we go. Once you have registered, please turn this over and replace it on the rings. Ensure you've entered your registration number in the box over the page. Okay, so. And. This is interesting. So we have got all these places where you could have registered your binder. Denmark, France, Germany, Italy, Sweden, UK, USA, Canada, and rather euphemistically, rest of the world, which has a, a UK number. Okay. Um, then we've got, um, in order to help us provide a better service in the future please complete the following so it's a it's a questionnaire what would you cut what do you currently use and here we've got we've got mini m2 pocket which was the four ring version and i've got one to show you in another review later later on in a few weeks time perhaps pocket six ring so you've got pocket four ring pocket six ring there we go that's a little bit better isn't it Pocket 4 ring, pocket 6 ring, slimline, personal, A5, and 
desk fax and A4. So this is presumably, well, actually this is interesting because the date on this is 2011. The copyright 2011 on that page, so that's a bit of a mystery. Maybe this is later than I thought. A ruler that's 2007, but one of the pages is 2011. In fact, that's 2011. 2011. This note page is 2011. 2011. And then we've got dividers that are 2006. Well, at the end of the day, as I know from, I bought some, I bought a whole stack, probably a, probably about 800, maybe 1,000 sheets of paper from Filofax back in November, so 2020, and they were, they all arrived and the date was 2011, so nine years, they've been sitting in a warehouse somewhere for nine years, not a complaint, I mean, paper is paper, isn't it, but it's uh, it's indicative that the the uh, the inference is that it's similar with compiling these filled packs. They probably took them off the shelf. To okay, we need some dividers. Take those. We need a ruler. Take that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So at the end of the day, the dates don't make any difference. But it is interesting in my sort of nerdy sort of way. I'm interested in the dates. So so we've got some numbered. A5 uh, dividers and then we've got some to-do pages that are 2006 and we have we have a few of those and then, then we've got um, uh, some finance sheets and then we've got some note paper really really nice quality too and this is dated 2006 as well that's got quite a lot of that and then we've got the uh these address pages which are 2006 again quite a few of those um yeah by this time the fax number has disappeared so they're no longer having a, um, a line for faxes but um, they're uh, multi-language in this one loads and loads and loads of address pages I think more than you can shake a stick at really um, and then we have the A to Z's in pairs as per normal, and then a a ruler, as we know, 2007, and this is, um, is it a card, business card it is, isn't it? Let me just take this out and have a look. 2006, okay, so finally we have the notepad and it doesn't look like it's been used it may have been used once or twice but there we go we've got the, the standard a5 notepad that fits in a slot a dedicated slot as you can see and then it all folds together and I'm just shaking it because it doesn't have any page lifters uh, the the um it may be because this is like like new but the but the zip feels much uh, not as smooth as my a4 lindhurst but my a4 lindhurst has been I'll, I'll do my a4 in a in another review but it's um it's well used and super smooth but there we go let's have another Oh, that smells fantastic. Lifts you. But there we go. It is the Farlefax Lindhurst. So, as we know... Well, we don't know, do we? We don't... I'm putting it in the wrong way. We don't know the date. But um, 
the inserts and rulers vary in this particular model from 2006 all the way up to 2011. Um, so, there we go. Farfouse Lindhurst Deluxe Leather A5 Zip Organizer. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.